Recording this quickly, hopefully this works. This disk is booted up. And if we do a catalog, we have a handful of little monitor utilities. And one thing in, in question is the Explorer, which is our little burn test. If everything works right, this should download to the FROB. And we should be able to turn on the 2600. Uh, we're in slot one. It takes and does the load. Okay, now we have over here. This is this is the slug, the umbilicus here that's going back to the back of the Apple II into the frog card that's in slot one here. That's providing the ROM emulation. We'll take and turn on my little six switcher. And oh my God, we've got data. Let's hit return. Get a moment while it figures itself out. And oh shit, look at that. Registers are running. We have a full register display with all the registers output right here. And the display has updated appropriately. Okay, so let's... Uh, I think I can do, let's go ahead and try to change background color just to see how we're doing here. Background color is EA, that's pretty funny, that's a no-op. But, you know, let's just change that to say, I'll put 2-3 here. Oop, and it works. Okay, so we updated the color register ROM here, and it, wow, it actually worked. So that's cool. All right, AA. Okay, so we... We are doing bi-directional communication with the development system and it is, it's working. So, hey, this frob is working for the first time in, uh, in 40 some odd years. Uh, expect some videos uh, soon, a very in-depth video on how this thing is actually used here. So, uh, see ya.